Hi guys and welcome to my Equus Halloween special. So today I've got a very fun filled video for you. We're going to be dressing some of the horses up, we're going to be doing some Halloween challenges, just lots going on all for Halloween. So before we jump into that I just wanted to thank today's video sponsor who are a long-term sponsor of mine and that is Equus. If you don't know what Equus is, it is an online retailer they sell everything you could ever need for the rider, the horse, the stable, you name it, they sell it. So at the moment, Equus have got an amazing Halloween collection out. They have literally everything from fancy dress to decorations for your horse, glitter, paint, you name it, they've got it. So all of the links to the Equus website and their Halloween collection will be in the description bar below, so check that out. So in a moment we are going to dress Caramel up for Halloween, which I'm sure she is absolutely thrilled about, but I'm just feeling I need to pumpkin spice this up a little bit. So I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure you're ready for this, but here we go. Talk about pumpkin spice. So this is my Halloween outfit, I know, you're jealous. Um, I thought I'd go full pumpkin today, seeing as we've got some beautiful pumpkin accessories from Equus on. So the first thing that I've got on is obviously my giant pumpkin outfit. Now this is not an Equus item, this is just your fancy dress item. Um, and I've paired it with some beautiful Halloween accessories from Equus. So first we'll start off with my hat cover. So this is the QHP hat cover in pumpkin, of course. Um, and is it not just incredible? I think we should be wearing pumpkins all year round. Now that we're pumpkin spiced up, it's time to go get Caramel, who looks a bit like a bog monster anyway, so it doesn't really require a Halloween outfit this year. Um, so I think we might need to give her a groom first and see what she thinks to the pumpkin, <laughs> and then we will dress her up. What do you think? <laughs> what are you wearing, Mum? I don't have food. I don't have food. You can't eat me. I know I look delicious, but you, you, you sadly cannot eat me. Would you like a groom and to be dressed up yourself? Something tells me that's a no. Oh well. Don't ruin my decorations, come here. So this is what the little bog monster currently looks like as she protests to being part of the Halloween special, but she's the only one that will stand and be good enough for this, so. <laughs> here she is in all of her muddy glory, and as you can see, definitely needs a groom. We have had a lot of really bad weather recently so I was going to be filming this outside and we were going to be doing some different challenges outside but unfortunately the wind and rain is just too high so we're going to be doing this as an indoor Halloween challenge today if Caramel doesn't eat my decorations. So because as we know Caramel is basically a Nautilus pony. I'm going to give her a hay net to try and keep her quiet while we um, while we give her a groom. Oh, I know you're absolutely starving and definitely not a little patty. You're a little munchkin pumpkin, is what you are. All right, there you go. You've got a hay net, and now I've got to try and groom you. This in itself is a Halloween challenge.
So to remove that top layer of dust and mud, I'm using the Lincoln Shedding Blade from Equus. Um, mine's been slightly stood on, so mine's a little bit flatter, but these are brilliant for removing any shedding hair during spring, but also mud during winter. They're really gentle, um, and it just takes that top layer off and makes it a bit easier for you. and that is to tame the mane. I feel the same going around. So in order to try and manage that unruly mane, um, I'm using Absorbing Shoshin, just spraying that on and that works really well, especially if you have really tangly manes like mine do. And then I'm going in with the HY Sport Active mane and tail brush and then also using their comb. All of these items are from Equus and I will link them all in the description box. And so the end is finally in sight. The last step to grooming caramel is just to spray it all over with that show sheen and then go over with a Shire's Easy Groom Grip Body Brush and this one that I've actually got in orange so it matches my outfit beautifully. is looking more presentable, as presentable as we'll get her in winter. It's now time to dress her up. So I had a few ideas that sprung to mind for some reason, um, which were a devil or a witch. Um, which I do have one of those options, but I think what I'm first going to try, if she doesn't eat me, um, is to do the sheet. You know, you put like a sheet over them and make them into a ghost. Um, but there were no instructions online as how to do this and I've chosen the only horse that we've got that's head shy. So, we'll see how this goes. So, as there were no instructions online, I'm going to make my own instructions up. First thing you're going to need is a large white sheet. I should probably have cleaned my hands after grooming the pony because this might not be white for very long. But, you need a big as big as you can get, white sheet and some scissors. The idea is that you cut where the ears are, oh, ears are, where the ears are and where the eyes are. Um, so first, place sheet on horse. That's just gone very well so far. What is not going to go very well is my favourite on her head. Yeah, I'm, I'm working it out, Caramel. Work with me. So this is a normal double size, I think, like flat sheet. 
So you might want something quite large, because I have a very small pony, and this I may, might help put, put it on this way. I mean, you're behaving really rather well. Ta-da! We have a ghost. Maybe I just need to cover your head. How does somebody else do this? Right. Okay, you've also got to try and not chop off any part of your pony. If you chop off any part of your pony, that's an automatic fail. Obviously, that's a joke, and do not try and say it unless you are comfortable and your horse is comfortable. Right, apparently you're comfortable. Right, ear holes are about here. As you can see, this is an exact science um, that I'm going for. Okay, please. Right, ear hole one. Ear hole two needs to be about there. I really hope it's not going to be in this. Haha, we have ear holes. I definitely chose the best now for this. Excuse me. Can I find your ears, please? Ear one, ear two. I mean, do you need to see? Is that really? No, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. So, upon reflection, I'm not sure I put the ear holes in the right place. But we may have to just pop it in. Pop it in, pull it in. So, ear holes are in. Now, the hard part is the eyes. So I'm just going to kind of, what you need to kind of do is not stab your horse. So I think your eyes are like here. So you do obviously be very gentle how you do this. As you can see, I'm a professional. And you just have your eyes there. Keep sliding on your bum. The rear wasn't quite so big. Oh, perfect. Look at this. And then your other eye hole needs to go about here. From my reckoning. Ah, look at that. We can see the pony. Not putting your ears on in front of it. Your eye hole might be a little bit further down than what you needed. But do you know what? I'm impressed. I think we put. Would you like your nose out as well? <laughs> Spooky ghost horse! She really doesn't care that she's wearing this. Let me try taking your head collar off and then putting it on so then we can place the sheet. Let's just show the people. I mean, can we just say that this mare is so well behaved at times? Like, you can be very, very naughty. We know this, but you can also be very, very good. Ah, you're so cute. You are so cute, my little ghost. Should we take you in the arena and get some, like, cool footage of you? Yeah, we'll do that. So I didn't realise quite how windy it was, so we rather quickly aborted the outdoor idea. So guys, because Caramel was so incredible to dress up, she is going to take part in the next challenge because this is a bit of a fun one for them. So we're actually going to be doing some apple bobbing. I've got two red gorilla buckets that we're going to fill with water, then we're going to put some apples in them and see who gets the most apples out the quickest. Um, which may be a little bit of fun. So for the apple bobbing, I'm gonna start by filling up some buckets with water. I am using the Red Gorilla Tub Trub Medium Flexible Bowl. So as you know, I love Red Gorilla and Equus actually stock the whole range pretty much of everything Red Gorilla. So if you are looking for anything stable equipment wise, again, link is in the description guys. So we have our buckets. I have the apples. Oh, that one could be yours, Caramel. So, one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Let me go grab some more. So we currently have three in each. I think I'm gonna go with five in each. Okay, so we've got five apples in each bucket. They're all the same size. The water level's the same. Now I just need a pony. I've taken her ghost costume off because she will just stand on it. But let's see who's the better um, apple bobbing champion. Now, I should mention, I was traumatised as a child apple bobbing. Um, so I've never done it since. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So the winner is basically the person that gets all the apples out first. And I don't know if Caramel's going to participate or to try and eat them, but it'll be fun. Are you ready? Which bucket do you want? Do you want that one or that one? You want that one? You, you, uh, uh, don't be cheating. Don't be head starting. That, that's, that's not on. Right, are you ready? Are you steady? Why am I? I caught the worst ideas for things. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Carol. What's this? Ooh. So first you have to introduce the pony to the game. Where was this? Come around. Maybe we should not have done this as a head-to-head. -head. Maybe this should have been a you have a go, then I have a go. Come on. What's in there? Step forward. Are you just think you're really clever? Don't eat scissors. What's that apple? Oh, get apple. Why will you not take a step forward? <laughs> Yeah, get it. Get it. I'm gonna end up covered. All right, go. Uh, oh, this is really hard. <laughs> I can't grab anything. <laughs> oh, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, I hear it. Maybe I should apple bop and you should just eat. This is actually really hard. Don't apple bob with the horse. I'm not getting yours out. You've already got saliva in there. Right. Okay, new game. I'll try and get the apples out for you. Are you going to try and get your own apples out now? I'm literally like dripping in water. I promise you this is not saliva. It is hard. I'm actually really good at this. You are rubbish. No, these are my apples. Here, have this one. Caramel. Hey, get off the food. What's this? Here you go. That one will be easier for you to get because it's not as round. I'm a celeb. Would you like your apples in the middle? Will that help? No. <laughs> mm. oh. I got half an apple. You're really bad at this game. <laughs> I'm actually really good at this. Oh, see you later then. I'll just apple bob on my own. <laughs> I swear for half. Caramel! She's eating food. Right, I've got one, one apple to get. Oh, I'm so... I am so good. Get on my feet bag! <sighs> Well, who came up with that stupid idea, Caramel? Oh wait, yeah, it was me. I'm absolutely so. <laughs> so you're a really sore loser who then eats all of the rewards. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my Halloween special <laughs> of dressing Caramel up and just soaking myself in a pumpkin outfit. Um, and a massive thank you to Equus for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you all next week for another one.